Fathers love everyone and welcome. Today we're going to start something new. We're going to read daily devotionals from a book I just got. It's entitled Finders Keepers, Finders of Truth, Keepers of Faith by Robert Klaus. And the back of the book says, In this postmodern age, truth has stumbled in the street. Novel religious ideas abound in the church. False teachers roam the countryside and doctrines of demons invade the mind. Therefore, it is necessary for such a time as this for all God-fearing Christians to become finders of truth. For only by abiding in the truth does one become free, and only by practicing the word of truth is one sanctified for service. In these last evil days, when many question and deny the Christian faith, when many fall away from the faith, and fewer contend earnestly for the faith, it is imperative that spirit-filled Christians arise and become keepers of the faith. In these busy and trying times, when many dine on daily crumbs, milk toast sermons, pastoral pastries, and fast food religion, it is essential that Christ-minded Christians be nourished on sound doctrine and encouraged by scripturally based devotions. These motivational devotions are the product of seven years of personal devotion and meditation. They will help equip believers to become all that God has called them to be and will prove helpful for discussion in church and in the home. The devotional will be especially attractive to the millions who are done with American churchianity. So as always, kick back and relax, and let's see what we can learn on our daily study of the devotionals. We're going to start out, of course, with the devotional for June the 23rd, entitled, Six Things Which the Lord Loves, Yes, Seven in Which He Delighteth. A faith that moves mountains, a mouth filled with praise and thanksgiving. A Christian led by the Spirit. A Christian devoted to prayer. A walk that is God-pleasing. A servant running with the gospel. And a mind occupied with Christ. I look forward to seeing you every morning for a new devotional. And I hope they bless you, as I'm sure they're going to bless me. As always, don't forget to pray for the children, our fellow brothers and sisters all around the world, and those still lost in the darkness, so that they too can find the light. May Father bless you, keep you, be gracious unto you, and give you peace. See you next time.